20th of October and we're in Jamaica. We are going to be here for two weeks staying in a villa in Ocho Rios in the parish of St. Anne. There is 19 of us in total staying here. It's a big old group. Um, I've never done this vlogging thing before so I'm not really sure how good these are going to be whether it's going to be one long vlog or lots of little vlogs. Um, I don't think I'm going to be particularly good at remembering to vlog. I'm going to try my best anyway, just so that you can see the kind of things we get up to and also just see the fun that we're having and what we're eating, especially. I mean, that's the bit that I find most interesting. <laughs> so hopefully you will enjoy these. Um, but today is kind of like the first day here so I've just been unpacking and sorting the room and um, the guys, some of the guys are around the pool, others have gone to the supermarket to get some stuff for dinner because the villa luckily uh, comes with a chef so as long as we provide all the food they will cook it for us which is nice and <laughs> we don't have to worry about cooking especially for that amount of people um so yeah they've gone to the supermarket to get food and yeah the rest of us are just chilling here really and just enjoying our first day um jade is currently napping so which is why i'm in the room and not by the pool um but once she wakes up we'll go and join them and maybe i will try and do a villa tour as well for you guys Hi everyone, so I'm going to be giving you a really quick villa tour so you can see where we're staying. Our villa is called Garden House Villa, which is located in Shaw Park in the town of Ocho Rios in the parish of St. Anne. Um, yeah, so let's go and have a look. Right, right, so right down there is the driveway up to the villa it's gated so you do feel safe as you come up the driveway you've got like greenery to each side of you loads of trees and I've just spoken with the gardener and there is a mango tree an apple tree and an avocado tree um, on the property so here imagine behind me is the driveway so here you drive up to the villa um, yes yeah, so as I was saying there is a mango tree an avocado tree and an apple tree on the property in fact the mango tree is just there so let's see if he did show me he said there aren't any mangoes which are ripe right now but you can see a couple of quite big mangoes. Can you see them up there? Just, if I could point them out, I can't see my glasses. Oh yeah, right <laughs> there. Um, and the apple tree is just over there. And the avocado tree, I said, I think he said it was down there somewhere. But anyway, these are all the greenery and stuff to the right of the villa. But I'm going to take you back to the path. And then you can see where the path goes. So as you come up the driveway, straight ahead of you there's a tennis court over there. But to your right is the villa itself. the outside if I take you to the tennis court first in fact I haven't actually been up here so this would be a first for both of us for all of us two cute little swans here and somewhere up there oh that's it is a little seating area some more seats and benches there. So, there is 
the tennis court. Not like amazing condition, but you can use it. I wonder whose house that is up there. I think that might be the gardener's shed. Is that? Anyway. So yeah, that's the tennis court. We'll go back into the house. So here is the house again from the other side. Let's go in. So this is this is the front entrance to the villa. Upstairs. I'll take you up there first before we go outside. On this floor there are five bedrooms, one which is ensuite, two king size rooms and they both share a bathroom and then we have like a kids room and our room and the bathroom's just outside. So from the top of the stairs there are three bedrooms to your left and then two bedrooms and a bathroom down this corridor. I won't show you all the bedrooms because some people are still in there. But this one right here with the yellow bandana doesn't mean anything rude. This is the ensuite up here. Um, sorry about the mess, but we... Um, on suite there, shower, bath, toilet and sink, there's the mirror, <laughs> and then as you can see outside, we have a balcony, I'll take you up on the balcony, and then this is their room, all the rooms have air conditioning in them, thank goodness, because it's hot. Oh, and I think all of them have ceiling fans. So, let's go out on the balcony. So, here is the balcony with amazing views of Ocho Rios. So, to the left, sort of the back of the house more, I think, where the staff are and the washing lines and things. So, that's where we hang our washing. Um, I'm not sure what this tree is. Got a cute tree here. There's our pool. And like I said, absolutely stunning views. And at night, this is so pretty with the town lit up. And this is a like a really pretty big balcony. And that door there is where the kids' room is, which you'll see in a minute. Is it that door? Yeah. And then these two doors here are from the main bedroom that we've just seen. So let me try and get a better view of the balcony here. <laughs> so there we go, that's the balcony. I don't think we use this very much, um, but nice to have. So on this side, is the, I think just around there is where we were looking at the mango tree. That's our room just there. The second ensuite bedroom is downstairs. There are one, two, three further bedrooms downstairs, one which is an ensuite and two just double bedrooms. There isn't a bathroom downstairs but um, yeah they use our, the ones up here with, with no problem. There's enough bathrooms to go around. Down there is a cute little wooden swing, which I don't really want to go in because it probably won't take my weight. <laughs> and I don't want to test it to see. There are those views again. And our pool. I have not been in it yet. Jada has. Those are our inflatables. Um, and there are 
the sun lounges downstairs. There's also an area to sit downstairs, which I'll show you when we go downstairs. Back in the hallway, and if we go down this corridor to the right here, is just another bathroom. Again, sorry about the mess. and then right opposite is the kids room again we're kind of using this room as a drying room at the minute but this is this room also goes under the balcony and it's got like a double bed on the bottom and a single bed and they also have lots of storage space and there's the door which leads onto the balcony and oh yeah mosquito net very important. <laughs> and their window, okay. their window looks out onto the garden. Oh, I've spotted another seating area over there. Can you see? This place I think is about five acres, so that's why I don't really know too much about it. So from here we turn left into our room. So this is our room. It's the only room with two double beds. That's just Jada sleeping. And it's quite a good room because it has views out to the gardens, so that's the swing, and then the pool just there. And then you can see the town. Then the view on this side is so the front of the house. And then we have some drawers for storage. It really isn't enough storage for us though. Um, but yeah, but we have like our shoes over there. So yeah, that's our room. It has aircon and a ceiling fan and both beds. Both beds have mosquito nets. Mosquito nets. So at the bottom of the stairs, this is the living space. There is a bedroom just here. Down that corridor is another bedroom and the kitchen. And then here is a cute little seating area. And down there is the downstairs ensuite with a toilet. And then the seating area. And then that leads to outside. There's no fans or aircon, so it gets pretty hot in here. But it does look out. Outside at the pool. What I forgot to say was that was the end of the villa tour. I hope you liked it. Um, it actually took me about a week to film it because I've just been so busy. Sorry, I've looked at my hair in the screen and I just look like a mess, but I really don't feel too good and I've just woken up from a nap, so that's my excuse. But anyway, hope you like the villa tour. Um, if you have got any questions about it, then um, just let me know. And thank you for watching.